Hi everybody, so today I'm going to talk about a media PC and uh, over the years I've had a number of these little devices uh, Roku, I've had a Android Smart TV box, I've had a Google Chromecast I've had a number of these actually and uh, I've wasted so much money because they do certain things they do streaming of media really well but you can't do certain things with them like video conferencing or perhaps uh, running a VPN. Certain things like that make it very, very difficult in some of these devices. So I'm going to show you how you can use just a regular PC. I have a Dell 3020 here that I've had laying around and I connected that up and it does uh, 4K streaming. Exactly that's something that's great for YouTube videos, for Hulu, for uh, Netflix, whatever it might be that you want to subscribe to. Uh, plus, you can do video conferencing, such as uh, running a Zoom meeting for your entire family. All you have to do is buy a webcam, a microphone like the one I have here in my shirt, and you can do almost anything with a full PC rather than using some of these little devices that are really underpowered for doing anything but streaming. So I'm going to show you how to set all of this up, and we'll take a look at what we can do to, to set up your PC for the ultimate PC for home media. So as mentioned, uh, I gave up on all of these little Android devices, Chromecast, Roku Player, and I went for a full PC. I'll show you how, uh, what some of the benefits are and how you can hook this up. So really all you have to do is plug from your display port um, that you use on your PC. And you can buy one of these PCs relatively inexpensive. Uh, what I did is I bought uh, a Dell refurbished PC off of Amazon and uh, the refurbished PCs are really great for this because they're inexpensive and um, they're really only a couple of years old they've came off of lease from maybe a bank or some large corporation and um, they, they work a hundred percent make sure you got one that does supports 4k video uh, if you want to use it for a media PC and uh, I chose a Dell 3020 uh, but anything newer than that should work uh, with a 4570 i5 processor. It's got much more power than some of these little devices that uh, really are only good for streaming. So as mentioned, uh, all you do is plug in the display port straight into the HDMI on the back of your TV and it should detect it right away. I have an LG 60 inch TV, uh, 4K video and it supported 4K right out of the out of the get-go so it worked uh, perfect for me also the sound the sound picked up right through the display audio so I didn't have to hook up any extra stereo or any anything like that it plugged it straight into the TV and uses the TV speaker with uh, the one HDMI cable a display port to HDMI cable and uh, I also purchased a microphone for doing video conferencing I'll have those in the links below as to what you can use for that. Uh, I have the BOA um, microphones because um, they come with a, like a six meter cable which is about 18 feet long so it gives you a long enough cable that you can use for um, doing great audio. As well one of the advantages of using a full PC rather than uh, a little streaming device is that you can connect up to your NAS, you can have a printer set up, you can do all kinds of different things in connecting up to the rest of your network and streaming. Another thing you can do is uh, connect up to a VPN such as OpenVPN. This is great for um, if you want to watch uh, perhaps maybe American, if you live in Canada and you watch American Netflix or American Hulu uh, which has got totally different content than what the Canadian Netflix has. So uh, that is a benefit as well. It's very easy to connect up a VPN when you're using a full PC rather than one of those little streaming devices. As mentioned before in the video that uh, you can use your full PC also for Zoom meetings. So a Roku device, of course you can't do uh, video meetings. Um, other little Android devices don't have enough horsepower to be able to do a Zoom meeting. Whereas a full PC with an i5 or greater processor, even an i3 processor for that matter, should be able to do a Zoom meeting quite well, just as if a, a PC would. 
and uh, for video conferencing I just bought a little uh, 1080p camera off of Amazon I think it was about $40 or something like that it just kind of sits on the top of your TV and mounts on there quite nicely and uh, just just like this the way you see it and then you can have a zoom meeting with a, a number of different people and be able to uh, use that for your media box so it works really well uh, I gave up on all of these little devices that I had and just went for a street peeps PC it's the best thing I've ever done it's the greatest media player device I've ever had uh, compared to any of these it just has more power um, does 4k works awesome so I hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and as mentioned before I'll have some um, links below as to where you can pick up some of this information or some of these uh, devices on Amazon and be sure to subscribe to this channel thanks for watching